guys, I'm going to finish up the install today. Got the new DCR cam from Daniel Crower. Uh, I had a subscriber send me the head. Thank you very much for sending this. I'm still waiting to get mine back from uh, uh, my porter. He's going to port and install bigger valves, heavier duty springs, everything. So just kind of cleaning this head up a little bit. Get it ready to be ran. Uh, like I said, my friend Eric from uh, Florida sent this in to me. So just kind of taking a look here. Get everything cleaned up just a hair. And then we can get it together. A little bit of carbon buildup, not bad. Definitely run, ran a little rich, I would say. Exhaust gasket still in there. Great news. All right, so we're going to start by installing the DCR cam before we put the um, head on the bike. So let me show you all how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this loose. And I got it facing down. Intake exhaust. Okay, so we do have the stock cam we're going to have to take out. And So definitely, it's not in time here. Look, see the timing mark here and here? So I don't know, there we go. Now it's in time. I guess when it got shipped, it got bumped around or something. But we're gonna go ahead and take these uh, Allen heads off. And those are, Lock tight it in place, so it's better just to use an impact or something that's going to just a little bigger than that. Let me get a bigger. All right, take your little impact. Maybe these are already loose. Turn it just enough to get to it. Yeah, I think these are already loose. I can deal with that. All right, turn it back. Hold on. Hold up, we gotta turn it back top dead center. Okay. All right. So we got it out. Now, if you look, there's two Phillips heads, okay? Those are lock tied in. Those have a red lock tight on them. So we're going to hope. Woo. Okay, and well, the reason why you're taking this out is because you're going to have to pull the rocker arm out. Man. Okay. Okay, now, oh, well. 
Sometimes it's easier said than done. Okay, got it out. Bottom one, top one. Now, what you can do is you can slide out, and let me move it over here a little better so you can see it. Stock cam is out, okay? Baby little stock cam. Get that out of your way. It's not really going to do much. Uh, now you're going to take your DCR cam. Now I talked to Dan himself. He said this cam is good for 12,000 RPM. And he said a minimum of two horsepower is easy. Okay, so you take your cam, there's no decompression lobe. It's pretty lubed up. I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil. Just dip it a little bit. You just don't wanna run them dry, okay? Okay, now, I've got as far as I can get with the cam, I have to take off the intake and the exhaust rockers. Okay. Who put these on, but they're on there tight. There we go. One more. I don't know if those are Loctite or not or whatnot, but they are on there. Okay, so now you got because they're not out far enough. So give me one minute. All right, guys. All I did was take this loose like that and slid the cam in. It's in place. So you'll notice this one didn't get any Loctite on them. Not sure why or the reason behind it, but sorry, your rocker arms are right here. I apologize. No, why my brain wasn't working. But we got that. Go ahead and tighten this down a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take a wrench and I'm going to torque that tight just to make sure everything's good and tight. It's tight. Okay, check everything. Ah, so everything's tight, cam's in. Now what you're going to notice about the cam gear here, that there's no, there's nothing for it to grab onto. And you're going to notice you have that much play in it. So just get it close. Don't beat yourself up. Now what I do, you get to here where you notice your hole's not 100% lined up. 
Sorry, trying to get you guys a little closer. If you notice the hole's not 100% lined up, just take your little chopstick. Boom, lined up. All right. Okay, let me grab myself an uh, Allen head. Okay. Now, since there's nothing for this to hold on to, I'm going to have to tighten these when I get the chain on it. Because I have no way to hold that. So, I need to use a spring just to hold these together. I don't know how well the spring is going to hold. If not, they'll just be maxed out like that the whole time. Which, I don't think it's going to matter. I'm going to try it without it. I mean, it's not going to matter. It's just going to be opened up. And look, it doesn't hit anything. It may make a little noise, but really, I'd put your... You know what? I'm going to take the spring off of this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and semi-adjust my valves. Right there is top dead center. And if you look, got a lot of daggum play there. So why not adjust it while it's off and then check it? You know, check it. There we go. Okay. I'm starting my exhaust valve first. Uh, Daniel Crower said anywhere to three to six thousandths. I'm going to do five thousandths on each one. Sorry, I lied. All I have is four and six thousandths, so I'm going to do four thousandths. Intake and exhaust. Make sure there's not one behind it. So basically, what you do here is you slide this under, okay? Loosen up your nut, and then you want to tighten it down. Until you have, okay, see, I got a nice drag there. So I'm going to hold it right there. Still got a nice drag, and I'm going to tighten it. Okay. Pretty good drag. All right, so here's how you check it. In theory, in theory, all right, a 6,000 shouldn't fit underneath A four thousandths, okay? All right, make sure that's six. Okay, I can't get it to fit. Now I take my four thousandths. I can live with that, okay? I'm gonna leave the cap off because when I get it all assembled, I'm gonna check them again. All right, are you following me? You just wanna make sure that they're close. All right, so I've got my intake here. OK. 
Okay, I dropped it. Look here. Way off. Nowhere. Nowhere near, okay? All right, take your valve, four thousandths. Pretty good pull. Try not to beat the head up too much. All right, let's check it. 